5,500 gallon aquarium with four viewing panels. I ordered a bunch of these. It's a crazy day, literally crazy. Oh! oh. A little hybrid. They've gotten bigger though. All right, fire eel. <laughs> Me and you, right here. <laughs> that is one crazy looking catfish. There it goes. That's the biggest one. What is going on, Crows? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are getting our fish from the Tequesta house in the 1,000 gallon and bringing them all over to our 3,600 gallon here at the new place, PC Farm 2.0. I'm super excited for this. All the fish are gonna be getting into a bigger pond, obviously temporary pond. We'll talk more on that later on in the video, but it's about time all my fish are here. I can heavily feed them, make them large predatory fish. The more they eat, the bigger they grow. And I'm excited to share this entire video with you right now. Strap in, let's go get some fish. We are here at the fish room and it's time to get, first of all, we gotta get all the water into the truck coolers because the coolers are gonna be housing the fish and the fish need water to survive. So the boys, all three of the boys are loading up water right now into the coolers. We got Chad here, hello what up, Chad. Guys? Logan, oh. what up Logan and David over here as Yo. well. And we're loading up our big coolers. This one's definitely good to go. We're gonna try to get as many fish into these as we possibly can. It's a crazy day, literally crazy. All the fish in here are coming home. They're all gonna be inside the 3,600 gallon pond along with the other fish in today's video. So stick along, stay tuned. We're gonna fill these coolers up and then I'll pick the camera back up. One cooler filled, two cooler filled, and three cooler filled. We have a fourth cooler over here and if we need it. You know, otherwise we got three full coolers of water and now the nets. We got the nets. I think we start off with the easier stuff, so. Let's do the Oscar. The Oscar for sure is down there. There used to be two Oscars. Unfortunately, one didn't make it a couple weeks ago, just out of nowhere it died, but we got another Oscar right there. We have a bunch of Oscars, and a lot of our Oscars are rescues. People that don't want them anymore, they grow too big for the aquarium. Remember, when you buy an Oscar, they get big. Look at how beautiful that fish is. Oh! oh. <laughs> there we go. He just freaked out in the beginning, right? He was just a little yeah. nervous. Make sure he doesn't jump out. There he goes. Wow. Sucker's fired up. Fish number one down, you saw how that went. Oh! The boys are already soaking wet. <laughs> now, I think we go for the hybrids. Got him. You know the best part is? We didn't net all the catfish with this net. Yep, the rubber net. Because it's the rubber net. The other net will get their fins stuck. The eel is out. The fire eel is literally out right there. If you remember a long time ago, we got a fire eel and it has gotten way bigger. It's so cool. This species is amazing. I wish I had its own tank for it to go in. Fortunately, not right now, but maybe once the building is built. Right now, everything needs to come out of this tank and over to the new place. Oh yeah. A little stub, short body red tail. Hey, my Sheesh! Which cooler? I'll do the big one with the red tail. Sick. A little hybrid. They've gotten bigger though. That's These like are all my one-eyed. Fire eel? It's going right in the net. Uh oh. Dude, like it's my time. You get the fire eel? Yeah. yeah. All right, fire eel. Yeesh. So beautiful, dude. So we've got a good amount of things. We got the fire eel. I think we have red tail. Our weird striped fish that we got a while ago. All the hybrids are in here. And then Oscar and Gar. So the smaller fish are all going to go in this Yeti. What do you got? What do we got? Little Gar. Yep, little Gar. It's kind of crazy how many fish are in this pond. You don't realize. I mean, they're small, but. Oh, little iridescent. That, that fish is insane. That's a phantom red tail right there that grew big. Sheesh, look at the colors. There he goes. Chad is collecting all the rock out of the tank because we need to make new caves for everything coming to the big pond now. The eel needs a cave to hide in. Lots of rock. Oh yeah. That's a sweet one, yeah. You can make a cool cave out of that. Biggest iridescent. Oh Holy God. moly. I'm oh at <laughs> Those got huge too. We got those at the Miami Fish Farm a couple of months back. They're getting big. Let's go, me and you, right here. Dude, he was fire. literally four oh, feet up. I, hope I, I, I really hope my camera caught that. <laughs> Look at the colors on him though. He's beautiful. He really, really didn't want to get caught. There he goes. Peacock, two gars, and an Oscar. 
in that one right there. <laughs> Look at all the rock we have to work with too. This sucker is gnarly looking, dude. That is one crazy looking catfish. There it goes. Load it up. All the fish are in the back of the truck. And in here, we have an empty 1,000 gallon that I will clean up later, but we're heading out. We're good. We are back at the 3,600 gallon aquarium with all of the coolers. The water is as clear as it's ever been these last couple of days. Finally, after doing a massive water change and figuring out the filtration myself, it is now cleared up and I think I've figured it out. It takes a little bit to understand the pond, especially when it's one this big, but this is again just temporary. So although this is a lot of fish for a 3,600 gallon pond, it is just temporary until the building is done in the backyard. We have this massive, literally a 5,500 gallon aquarium with four viewing panels right in my front yard waiting to be fiber glass back together but the building has to get done first so this pond right here literally see the four viewing panels right there there will be a building in the backyard over here and it'll be in there but until then these fish are temporarily inside of a 4,000 gallon pond so still a big pond but not 5,500 gallons and the koi fish that are in this pond down there the two koi and a couple of the other smaller fish will actually stay in this pond right here so not all the fish are going into that but a lot of these catfish are let's see what the eels looking like oh hey little buddy buddy we need to get all the rocks out and we're gonna build like a super cool uh, rock cave in this pond. But before the cave, I just got a package, literally Amazon just pulled up and it's a bunch of power heads. I ordered a bunch of these, oh, I got two more massive power heads. Oh yeah, that right there is a power head. We're gonna have both of these over here pushing that way. You see all that debris at the bottom right there? All that will get pushed by this over to the filter. I swear to you, these fish are camera shy. When we feed, we just got a thing of fresh shrimp uh, to get them all filled up prior to putting the new fish in just so that everyone's full. They go crazy when I'm not filming. Like I'll put a video to the side here of us feeding these things just randomly with no camera. They go nuts, hand feeding every single one of them. And then the second my camera comes out, they don't want to act like they eat at all. They're just, look, they barely come, I mean this one guy. Yeah, there's a little bite. Got a bunch of rocks here, like I said, though, and I'm gonna hop into the pond, build a cool cave over here in the corner, and I'm going to incorporate one of these big jets along with all the rocks. All this is a cave for the eel. Another fish to hide in and the water's flowing. It's moving. This is just one of the out of the two jets are in. The other jet will go up here somewhat and push the water this way. But you could already see the one jet doing its job. I say we start off with, oh, with the eel right here because I want to put him by the cave. Let him find that right now. Oh, oh. oh dude, he just literally came out of the freaking cooler. We're gonna release the eel right by the cave. Let him go down there and find his way. He's kind of just hanging out by the rock. He's not really moving much, but I'm sure he's gonna explore. He's a good size eel, so I'm not really worried about him getting eaten. More about, worried about like the peacock and stuff, but again, we have another peacock in here about the same size and he's good. Every fish in here is full because we just fed him shrimp, which will also help. There we go, there's one. There we go. Hybrid, numero uno, going in. See you later, buddy. Getting all hybrids. Oh, that's the biggest one. Sheesh, one fin with one eye. All of them have one fin and one eye. I don't know why, but they all do. Sweet, now all these are gonna get 10 times the size because they have a much bigger pond, a lot more water flow. But here at my house, we're feeding heavily, trying to grow these things. So the whole goal was to get them into this pond right here to make them bigger, stronger, and get ready for the 5,500 gallon. Look at my short body, dude. I'm so stoked with this guy. This is my only short body red tail cat. We also have the phantom right there, a couple of the uh, iridescents, and this weird, I forgot what this fish was called, but it's literally like a shiner. This camera's gonna break and cost me a lot more than I wanted to spend today. This is an important one, fellas. Look how beautiful. Another one, another one. I think that's like one, two, three, four, five, five platinum and phantom catfish in here. Oh, water flying everywhere. It's, I'm gonna call it a perch, it's not a perch, but I'm gonna call it that because it looks like one. Yoo! That thing eats plants, hence why all my plants are eaten. Look at that. 
All that's left in this cooler is the three iridescent catfish, which will be going in next. And then in the other cooler we have here, our Oscar, two gars that are smaller, and then of course the peacock. All three iridescents. Oh, one got through the net. These are gonna love this pond. You gotta keep in mind, these fish love to swim. They school, they swim like crazy constantly. They've got a lot more room to swim. Not so much in a circle anymore. They literally have a full lap pool to swim in. There's the last one right there. Look at that. Oh. Last cooler has the Oscar, our beautiful Oscar here with our two spotted Florida gar and a peacock right there. Wait a second, look at the colors on that. Sheesh Louise. That's like a lava colored. And another one to the collection. We have a lot of Oscars, I love Oscars so much. If anyone has any Oscars they don't want, hit me up in the DMs on Instagram. I'll definitely take your Oscars, love them. All right, last fish is the peacock bass. Very last fish, got them. See you later, buddy. Thank gosh we fed all the fish, boys, because they're not even messing with us at all. There he goes. Look at that, he's all lit up a different color because he's in a white cooler. It is gonna be an epic first feeding once I do live goldfish for this pond the next time I do that. If y'all wanna see that, smash the like button for sure. Hey boys, thank you so much for making it possible. Yes, Literally, sir. Yes, sir. bro, this would've taken me so much longer. I was able to focus on filming. The boys helped me out big time. Logan, Chad, and David, thank you so much. I'm gonna leave all their Instagrams down below. Go show them some love. It is the next morning, and as you can see, there's an Oscar, and we got a couple of catfish coming up to the surface. The glare is so bad, like in person. I wish every single one of you could just see it in person. There's no glare, it looks beautiful. All the Oscars are at the surface, the water is crystal clear. You can see that's the peacock from yesterday. Our eel is hiding in here. The hybrids are all in the rocks as well, they love the coverage, that was a smart move. The phantom is right down there at the bottom with another one. Look at all the fish, this is amazing. Why do you all sit right here? You got a lot of space over there and lots of space over, whatever. Taylor's, what are you doing? Brushing? She's spraying fly spray and brushing her horse. About to take him out for the daily horse walk. She takes the horse out every day. My boy Chad actually dug a deeper hole for the pigs. He was like, they need a big pool. So he dug this massive hole. But speaking about pigs, the vet was out. We trimmed some of the pigs that had longer hoofs and tried to get some of the tusks, but we'd have to put them down to really do the tusks. So Bubba, Lulu, I do like to show everything that goes on in the farm. So I'm gonna roll a couple clips from the vet visit. And then after that, we'll uh, call it quits for the day. Here's the boy. I gotta flip you on your back though. You're all right. It's all right. Don't tell us all about it. Don't tell us all about it. I got some deworm around bread for you. You little big girl. Good job. Hey Bubba, you got your nails trimmed. Bubba's like, I'm feeling good. Everyone's getting dewormed on the farm this morning. We just get her first try. Wow, beautifully done. He's like, what is that? Good boy. <laughs> Very good boy. You got no Dude, I'm, I'm petting mama goat like she's boots right now or something. I don't know if it's the new enclosure that's just got her happy or something. I don't know, but. That was the first time. Hopefully you went on to enjoy this video. It was an epic one. It's just them saying bye to you. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace!